Today on Influence Her. You can live fashionably and healthfully without harming animals like, why wouldn't you? We're going vegan. And it's more than just what you eat. You don't have to like go out of style if you want to go vegan with your yeah, clothing. Yeah, I found ways to still keep my personal style and make it all cruelty free. With fall fashion in full swing, tis the season of leather, fur, and snakeskin. It's actually rubber. We're showing you how to shop cruelty free. I mean, I'd be very happy with any and all of these no, pieces seriously. in my closet. And asking these fashion experts to turn Instagram into reality. Right now on Influence Her. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Influence Her Only on News 12 Plus. I'm Aisha McKenzie. And I'm Amanda Bossard. Our guest today, Teddy Sarah, started off as a plant-based food blogger, but has since gone full on lifestyle on her website, teddysarah.com. That's right. Each and every item featured, and we're talking everything mm -hmm. from skincare products to clothing, even jewelry is all vegan. Mm -hmm. Her blog is all about keeping it cruelty-free, and she's here to break down how living vegan is more than just a diet. So, Teddy, thank you for being yeah. on our show. Today. Oh my goodness, thank you for having me. Love that you're here. When people think vegan, they automatically think food, but that's not yeah. the case. Yeah, well, so vegan expands way past just what you eat because the word vegan really means without animals, without harming animals. So for a lot of people, it starts out as a diet change, just like it did for me, but then it expands to the clothes you wear, the products you use, whether that's skincare, home products, whatever it may be. It's about trying to do the least harm to animals possible and buying products that aren't made out of them. So when you made that transition, did you find it difficult to find those products that you wanted to wear in your life and, and use in your lifestyle? Yeah. Was it hard to find them? Absolutely. So I was pretty shocked. Once I had made the diet change, it was within the year that I started to think about the clothes I wore and the products I used, and I was actually shocked to learn how many products are tested on animals, mm -hmm. how many clothing products are made out of animal skins and furs and things like that. Things that I had just never thought of before. You know, I'd buy a leather bag and it wouldn't even cross my mind that an animal had to die mm -hmm. for me to get that. And so it was pretty shocking at the time. This was about six years ago when I changed my lifestyle to try and find products that weren't made out of animals, but it's definitely changing and there's more and more options now. And I'm seeing your jacket right now. You're talking yeah. about leather. Mm -hmm. You don't have to like go out of style if you want to go vegan with your yeah. clothing. So the jacket you're wearing right now. Absolutely. This is, vegan. is a vegan leather jacket that I love. It feels awesome. It feels great. It's just as comfortable as a leather jacket. And the style is still on trend because I'm someone who I wouldn't have just given up my lifestyle and the things I was into and just totally radically changed everything that I liked, I found ways to still keep my personal style and make it all cruelty free. And we see a lot of that right here mm -hmm. on the table yeah. in front of us. So Gorgeous things here. I mean, <laughs> something as simple as sneakers yeah. could be not vegan, but you've managed Absolutely. to find vegan sneakers. Absolutely. So these sneakers are actually by Adidas. So one of the great things is that there are all different sorts of brands out there and ways to shop cruelty free. So you can go with completely 100% ethical vegan brands like some of these products are from or you can go to the big name brands like Adidas which is a great brand that has tons of sneaker options mm -hmm. that have no leather or anything like that in them so these are knit sneakers by Adidas they're totally cruelty free comfortable and cute so right I'm go wrong. Saying, like, everyone wears these yeah. and these are in yeah. style the knit ones especially yeah know, and you have no idea a lot of people probably buy them and not know they're Absolutely. vegan but I feel like that is a plus when you pick them up they're cute and no animal was harmed exactly trying to do it exactly they're there are all different ways to shop to make it cruelty free. So these products, actually all these products here are, are by brands that are completely 100% vegan. They don't use any animal products in anything that they make or sell. And so these are by a brand called Will's Vegan Shoes. These were actually created by another influencer who lives down in Australia. The brand awesome. is called Hunted. And she wanted great pumps that were cruelty free and it was hard to find at the time. So she created this brand and they're super cute. And then this is from a brand called Noise, and they make Very vegan cute. leather I products. Yeah, I love the color. And they also make amazing vegan winter jackets because normally winter jackets have down feathers in them. So this is from Noise, and this is from a brand called Angela Roy, and it's completely vegan leather. 
I love oh, it. Okay. This is very beautiful. I feel like I can wear this. Not sacrificing style here right. at all. Right, and that's really what I try to do on my blog and my Instagram. I try to make it a place for people who love fashion and animals who aren't necessarily ready to make the jump that I did and do all the research and find what's vegan, but you can know if you come to my site or my Instagram, everything you'll see there will be on trend and also cruelty free. Definitely those brands that are definitely labeled as vegan mm -hmm. brands, yes. but something like Adidas, you wouldn't necessarily know it's a vegan product just by looking at it. Right, right. So there's symbols on shoes, and unfortunately they're not on any of these because a lot of the times it's the shopping tags that you can mm -hmm. see. But there are different symbols that mean it's a man-made product, but what you can always remember is when you see a symbol that looks like a cowhide, that means it came from an animal. So if you see a cowhide on anything, you can look at the tags in bags, in shoes, on coats, anything. If you see that little symbol that looks like a cowhide, that means it came from an animal. And it's not cruelty free. And it's at not all. cruelty free, yeah. Something had to die for that product to be made. And on your blog, you post a lot on your website just yes. about where people can find it in different stores. It's not just one place. There, there yes. could be like maybe Nordstrom or Macy's or any other place that Absolutely. sells a vegan product. Yeah, so on my website I have my blog but I also created what I call the department store by Teddy and it's a way for people to still shop from their favorite brands but know that everything they're seeing is their vegan and cruelty free stuff. So like you said Nordstrom. I have on my site lots of products from Nordstrom that you can find on my site. It'll take you to the Nordstrom site but you'll know that since you saw it on, on TeddySarah.com it's cruelty free vegan and no wool, leather, suede, fur, anything like that. And as this shift towards being more conscious about being cruelty free has happened throughout society, do you feel like there are more options for people who are trying to shop cruelty free and adopt that lifestyle? Oh, absolutely. As I said, I first went vegan six years ago and I remember thinking, well, it is absolutely impossible to find mm -hmm. cute boots mm -hmm. that are vegan. That's impossible. And now, uh, if you look on my website, I think I have about 75 on there that I found from different retailers. Wow, that's so a lot. <laughs> there are options, and they're also cute, which is great. You can still find the trends that you like and keep it cruelty free. What like advice that. would you give to someone making that transition? Because mm. like you said, it's not easy. Yeah. I feel like vegan is more in the forefront now, but six years ago, Absolutely. it was very, very difficult. Like, Just, you know, looking at products, look, opening the tongue, seeing when you're shopping, if it says what the products are made out of, and just being a little more conscious of it and even if it's simple things like remembering I'm gonna look for knit sneakers because I know those are everywhere and mm -hmm. every big brand has mm -hmm. those just sort of keeping it in the forefront of your mind and learning how to see which fabrics are are made out of animals and which aren't and speaking of that for those trying to make that that transition what are some of the biggest misconceptions that you think people have about living a vegan lifestyle yeah well I think one like being more expensive like you thought mm -hmm. for food and clothes people tend to think that and that's not necessarily true of course there are designer vegan items like Stella McCartney is a very famous uh, mm. designer brand and she all her stuff is vegan so there is are vegan options that are expensive but there's also many affordable vegan options so that's a misconception a lot and it, a lot of people I think feel that it's either not cute or on trend because they don't see how much it's exploding yet this trend of vegan fashion. I mean, look at all this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and also that things are poor quality, which isn't true at all. I absolutely love this vegan leather jacket. I wear it all the time. No one ever thinks it's vegan mm -hmm. when they see it, I have to tell them. So there's options. There's so many options, and so I think just exploring them and seeing what fits with your own personal style is a good way to go. And in your experience, you see more people pushing towards that trend? Oh yeah, people are definitely interested, and in, you know, my inbox on my Instagram is always full of people saying, hey, where can I find vegan sneakers that are this color or that color? Where can I find a bag like this? Or a lot of questions I get are, where can I find stuff for my wedding? I want stuff for my oh, wedding wow. that's okay. vegan and cruelty free, like great, nice shoes, things like that. So there's definitely an interest. I mean, I get messages every single day with people asking where they can find vegan fashion things. How else can you incorporate a cruelty free mindset into your everyday life? A big thing, the word vegan and cruelty free, I sort of use them interchangeably, mm -hmm. but really vegan means made without animals and cruelty free means not tested on animals so a way that you can expand your um, interest in being kinder to animals more compassionate is with the products that we use making sure they're not tested on animals because most skincare products home care products hair products are tested on animals which was shocking for me to learn when I first changed to a, a vegan lifestyle and so 
there's a little bunny symbol. It's literally a picture of a bunny on most products that are not tested on animals. So just looking at the back of your makeup containers, seeing if they have the bunny symbol or if they say not tested on animals. Same with home care products. And now it's expanding to everywhere. It used to be that those products at first were more expensive to find, but you can find those at Target, Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, they all are starting to offer cruelty-free options. So check wow. for that cruelty-free bunny. It's yeah. almost like something I would have never looked for before, like a bunny right. or yeah. a cow, something you don't even think about Absolutely. when you're shopping. Yeah, and that's the thing. Things are labeled. So once you know what you're looking for, it's easier to choose products that are made a little more compassionately. And I feel like once you take that step, it's so much easier to mm -hmm. incorporate that thinking into just every facet of your life. Absolutely. I mean, it's just second nature to me when I shop. I, it's so easy for me to do it. And that's part of why I created my blog and my Instagram, because for most people, they're not to that point yet where it's really easy. I really created it for the old me, someone who loved animals and absolutely didn't want to harm them, but had no idea where to start. So that's why I created it, because now it's absolute second nature for me, really easy to figure it out. So I just put everything that's vegan and cruelty free in one spot so people can find it. It's awesome. perfect. I awesome. love it. And yeah, and to have the one-stop shop on your website for those who are at least yeah. getting started and maybe don't know where to turn, that definitely Absolutely. simplifies no, sure. the process. And I trust your style because these are all Thank your you. things. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, <laughs> these are actually mine that I own. This is all my stuff that I wear and use. And yeah, on uh, with fall and winter upon us, there's a lot of things that are not cruelty-free that we wear, like sweaters. So mm -hmm. many sweaters you use wool, and people think, well, wool, the sheep don't have to die, but actually Actually, the wool industry is incredibly cruel because whenever you're creating something on such a mass scale, there's going to be a lot of suffering and cruelty involved in it. So wool-free options, things made without down feathers, mm. things like that are something to be aware of as the colder months are setting in. Well, yeah, Teddy, awesome. thank you so much. We appreciate yeah. you coming here. And thank you for I don't having know what me. I'm going to go home with. So yeah. we'll figure Perfect. It out. The shoes. The yes. shoes. <laughs> yeah. Teddy, okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. You're watching Influence Her only on News 12 Plus. And keeping with our vegan theme today, we have Molly Tuttle joining us. Hello. And she runs a vegan fashion, beauty, and lifestyle blog called Fashion Veggie. That's right. On her website, you can find great tips on how to live a vegan and healthy lifestyle and overall being an animal advocate. Molly. I love it. Thanks for having me, ladies. Thank you so much for joining us. You're and so obviously, welcome. there's no need to sacrifice style when it comes to adopting a vegan lifestyle. We've got a lot of stuff on the lot table going to show on. <laughs> Gorgeous things we can't get wait to get to. Absolutely. So how long have you been an animal advocate and really going in this vegan lifestyle? So I went vegan about five years ago, saw a documentary, and I was like, OK. I'm overhauling everything, and I knew that fashion would be the hardest for me personally mm -hmm. um, as far as like transitioning uh, away from animal products. So uh, I was a stylist at the time, like a wardrobe stylist, and I had a closet full of fur and leather and you name it. So um, it's been really fun for me, like a five-year journey of just kind of collecting favorite brands that are ethical and that are like, you know, a lot of them are sustainable and they're trying to make change in the world um, and they make beautiful, beautiful clothing. So I'm really excited to talk to that. So let's start with the basics here. Okay. We're in the fall. <laughs> Sweater weather is upon us. I can't well, believe we're in the fall. <laughs> I'm excited. I love fall. So we have this sweater here, and usually people like to wear wool sweaters, but you don't have to. Okay, so the really amazing thing about these vegan sweaters is that they don't itch. I really do think that wool sweaters itch sometimes, mm. um, but you can find, and another good thing is that the price point tends to be just a little bit lower than if okay. you were going to get a wool sweater. So the way you kind of find out, you know, if you're shopping, if um, a sweater is, you know, vegan or not, there's always a tag on the inside typically on the side seam and so like you know if I look at this I see that it's made of polyester nylon it feels just like you know a I mean, bit I'm of a softer I, pass the sweater. <laughs> I love like the, Give sweater, me the look. sweater this and the look is so nice I think there we go yeah and it kind of feels like a cashmere blend <laughs> beautiful yeah I mean, and the color is beautiful. It's very and on said trend. it's a little less expensive, which is perfect if you're trying Bingo. to save some dollars. Totally. We're on to my next favorite oh. mm. right here. So you've we'll been, you've had your eye on this <laughs> been on those. I mean, look how beautiful it is. I wish you guys could touch it from the TV. Because it really it is gorgeous. It feels luxurious, it does. too. It's it really feels great. It like, I, I don't know. I mean, to me, it really is the closest I've felt to actual fur. Um, this is by Generation Love. And um, again, if you look, so it's 
like a really substantial. Oh, oh can gorgeous. I do that? Yes. It looks um, like yeah. fur, obviously it does. not. It And, it, you know, it's a, again, like the price point's a bit better. Like if you were to get an actual animal fur jacket, you know, that was this luxe, it would be probably $600 mm -hmm. plus. And this one is $315. So you do get like a price break on that kind of thing. Okay, I found the tag and it lets me know that the outer shell is faux fur, 100% polyester, and that the lining is also polyester. So you're warm and very cute. Absolutely. <laughs> you're I mean, cute. You don't have to harm animals, like you're saying, you to don't. be fashionable. You don't. So like, that's what I always say, because I, I think everyone's at a different place in their journey, and that's totally fine. It's on fashion, veggie, and everything. I try and cover the whole, like, mm -hmm. the whole gamut. So we're here with the boots now, which is uh. like what you need. It, for, for winter fall and fall fashion, exactly. Yeah, so we were talking about those like independent, more ethical designers. Um, this is a brand called Bava, and yeah, everything that they make is like small batch, and uh, you know everybody was paid fairly, and their products are nice. just beautiful. Like I used to have when I was a stylist a pair of really, really high-end, expensive boots by uh, uh, I think it's called Dries or Dry. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Some frou-frou, like super fancy label. These look just just like them and nice. you know I have boots like this from vegan designers that have lasted me years and years and years so yeah these are my favorite at the moment I just think that I they're like so them. cool. There's like some weight to them. Yeah, yeah. Like very nice. Heavy. My favorite is like the little hidden yes. heels so yeah. for a like short a girl like me right I get here. a little height in there as well. Totally. Very cute. Love it. Yeah so I love those. Um, talking about the accessories now because yeah. a lot of these might look like certain fabrics this one specifically mm -hmm. snakeskin super on trend this we fall. love snakeskin <laughs> but obviously that's not what this is right so this is by rivers eight it's actually rubber and i love, love this. it they make a lot of like really cool waste packs and they it's cool because you go to their website and um you pick which like reptile so you oh, can choose oh. python or you can choose you know i forget all of them but alligator or whatever crocodile stingray and um, it t and part of your purchase I believe goes to like the preservation of oh, that I species that. and it tells you that. about those species so that's really cool but if you feel it I mean it feels like a reptile and it really looks yes. like a reptile skin so th that's like a waste pack um, I really think it's important always to note that vegan fashion, you don't have to pay a ton and you, it's not like everything is just super cheapy. Mm -hmm. It just runs like such a range. And so this is a Stella McCartney, which is obviously like a super high end label. And it feels like a soft, like buttery. No, it's very nice. Yeah. I like it. Soft, buttery and then we level. have this right here. I always love the Stella purse. Yeah. Me too. Like, <laughs> it reminds very, me of my cute. grandma in uh, a good way. No, no, no. <laughs> I know it's like the new age grandma like purse. Yeah, yeah, no, it's very grandma very chic. Cute. Yes. So we have all these purses here. So it's like, so we have your jacket. Yeah. You have your purse. You got your shoes, the hat. You as have well. everything you need. I feel like. <laughs> yeah, on the top <laughs> and this is made out of plastic bottles, which I thought was cool. Really? Yeah. yeah. So um, I think like that's really exciting to notice that you can make these vegan fashion items, you know, while also making a big difference um, for the environment. In the world. No, yeah. that's important. That's very important. Just any tips on someone transitioning into a more vegan cruelty lifestyle? Sure. Um, my main tip would be to go at your pace. Like I. I apparently I'm such an extremist I went vegan and I just overhauled everything immediately um, and got rid of all my old stuff and replaced it that's kind of an expensive way to go and it's it can be sort of like a jostling feeling for those around you if you live with a significant other or something like that I would recommend um, if you're more comfortable doing it this way wearing your clothes out like you know wear your boots your old boots until you know they start to get really really scuffed or whatever and then replace them with an animal friendly alternative okay. you know don't strategy. put too much pressure so on yourself piece. yeah yeah and, and as long as you feel like you're going at a pace you're comfortable with then you'll get there eventually and it's exciting to see like your closet just sort of evolve over time I mean, I'd be very happy with any and all of these no, pieces seriously. in my closet. So yeah, you can borrow them anytime, girl. Love it. <laughs> thank you so much, Molly, thank for you. that. Yeah, of course. And for being here today. Yeah, thank Love you for it. having me. Well, welcome back to Influencer. I hope you really enjoyed our show centered around cruelty-free and vegan fashion, something Amanda and I really didn't know much about. I mean, you and I really thought vegan was pretty much just a diet, mm -hmm. not necessarily a lifestyle, but we've learned so much about how you can incorporate that thinking into really every facet of your life. Exactly. I mean, you can like uphaul everything like Molly or start one by one like Teddy exactly. and just throwing out different things. And honestly, I was in love with all the fashion, especially that green jacket. Oh, 
the, the favorite first, piece uh, of the week. It's gorgeous. And the fact that you're getting it for less than what you would pay for real fur is only an added benefit for See, me. Exactly. You don't have to harm an animal and you can get it for cheaper. And Molly did make a good point that if you do buy things that are vegan, it is not necessarily more expensive. Many people think that too. Mm -hmm. Like vegan means, okay, especially with food, I'm going to have to spend more. Not, not the, the case, case, people. And on top of that, that big brands like Adidas, like the shoes that Teddy showed us, mm -hmm. are incorporating that same mindset into the products that they're making. I wouldn't have known those shoes were vegan, no. if she told me. But Absolutely it's as simple not. as looking at the tag when you're going out to buy. Exactly. And what I love about these two women is that they make it easy for you to know these things. They were on our mm. show, but on their Instagram accounts, they kind of show you what you can buy and they're fashionable as you've seen oh, yeah. and it's easy like Teddy has her department store by Teddy where she lists everything that's vegan and Molly showcases a lot of stuff as well which is great so great women to follow uh, for sure and the fact that all these things you could go to a specialty boutique to buy something mm -hmm. a lot of the things that Molly showed us were from different boutiques here in the city but so then beautiful. Teddy was telling us that you could find these in big brand retailers as well yeah. so you really can find it everywhere now I love it and make sure you follow these two ladies as well so Teddy mm -hmm. is at Teddy Teddy Sarah on Instagram and Molly is the fashion veggie. Yeah. Definitely accounts to keep an eye out mm -hmm. for. And thank you so much for joining us this week here on Influencer. Can't wait to see you next week. Bye bye.